Hello, 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 everyone. Happy Black Friday. Happy Black Friday, everyone. Oh, my goodness. I missed you all last week. Absolutely miss you all. I was out selling books and looked up, y'all, and it was 3 o'clock. It was 3 o'clock in the p.m. Eastern time. So that was 2 o'clock here, but I had missed it nonetheless. So I completely missed you all last week, and I do apologize, but come on and let's get in here. Let's talk about what we have going on. Miss Chiquita, thank you so much for joining. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We are so glad that you are here with us today at Focus on the Friday. I am thankful for you. I'm thankful for all of the followers, all of the listeners, all of the moms and dads, and all of the people who join us week after week to make sure that we are getting some good education. Did you have a good Thanksgiving, Miss Chiquita? Good Thanksgiving. Hello, Sara Irma. Were you uh, in Atlanta last week? Tell me if you were in Atlanta last week. That's where I was. I had a booth with some other young ladies. We were selling our books. And boy, did we have a good time. But it was tiring. It was exhausting being there those long hours. But we had a good time nonetheless. Tell me, um, did you all have a good Thanksgiving? Mr. Donnell, good afternoon. Blessings. How was your Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving was really, really, really good. Um, got to spend some time with um, some friends in the morning. They came over from Georgia, Dr. Nicole Cole and uh, her family. And uh, there's Dr. Nicole Cole right there. Afternoon. She's working too, she says. Dr. Nicole Cole is awesome. She is always saving lives. And since she is here today, let me just remind you, ladies, uh, if you are in the qualifying age to get a mammogram and you have not gotten yours, please make sure that you schedule it. Um, we do not want to lose you or even have you to go through a treatment that you might have to in order to um, save your life. So protect the tatas, as they say. Uh, let's see. So, Mr. Donnell, yes, had a great uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, as I said, Dr. Nicole Cole came over, and then that afternoon we had our family. We're all fully vaccinated. Dr. Fauci said if y'all are vaccinated, feel free to move about with your family and your friends. I'm still very selective in uh, the people that I uh, engage with um, because there are some people that still just don't live very um, – They they're just – moving about a little bit too much for me, but that's okay. But yeah, we had a good time. We had a good time. We had a great time. Let's see, Ms. Shakuta says, I did not, um, I did. She says she did enjoy her Thanksgiving. I got to come home from rehab. Yay! Awesome, 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 awesome. So hopefully it's going, everything is going well with rehab. And uh, we pray that everything will continue to go well with you as well. Mr. Wanna Brown, she says, hello, hello, girl. We are so glad to have you here. We're so glad to have you here. Miss Irma says she was in uh, Jackson at the JSU Alcorn game. I bet that was a good one. My husband and I went to JSU for their homecoming, uh, which was the weekend of my birthday. And uh, he called me talking about, you ready? And I said, for what? He said, we're going to the game. He says he surprised me with that because that was what I wanted, what I said I wanted. I don't recall saying that that was what I wanted, but we had a good time nonetheless. The atmosphere at the Jackson um, State Stadium is amazing. I think it's on Memorial or it's Memorial Stadium or something like that, but it was amazing. They played Alabama State that day, um, and it was a good game. It was a good game. Amazing atmosphere. Um, what was I about to say? Um... Yeah, so I had a good time. So I had a good time. I'm giving y'all a few more minutes to get in. I'm actually, there we go, trying to find myself over here so I can keep up with the comments. And it looks like everything is a go. So we will go ahead and get started. Mr. Donnell says, we had a great Thanksgiving, had a quiet dinner with my immediate family. We are still cautious and being careful. Put up the Christmas tree after dinner. Great memories. Did you cut the grass, Mr. Donnell? Did you cut the grass yesterday? 
Y'all, for you, if you're not a regular, Mr. Daniel says he might cut the grass like every other, every third day. So I've got to figure out where he lives. I'm going to have to use my Facebook stalker skills to find out where he lives because I need to see this well manicured lawn that is cut every third or so days uh, because he enjoys that. That is what he enjoys for a living. Of course, he is not a dad, a mom because he is a man, but he was telling us as we were preparing for mommy's time out and we were talking about things that we do for relaxation. And, and he says that he cuts the grass. He likes to do that. On the other hand, my girlfriend, Dr. Nicole Cole was here yesterday and she was telling me that I need to uh, maybe get a garden. And I said, girl, you know, I don't come outside. I'm not getting a garden. But one day, maybe I will. And I'll use it on Fridays at noon. Well, no, because I always will be here with y'all, at least for a little while longer, hanging out. But we, we will find some time to do just like that. Well, let's go ahead and get started. I'm Dr. Brandy B., your triple board certified pediatrician, adult psychiatrist, and child and adolescent mm -hmm. psychiatrist. And through my Facebook live stream, Focus on a Friday, uh, my events such as Mommy's Time Out, um, in my book, mm -hmm. Shine, Understanding ADHD, So Your Child Can Be mm -hmm. a Star, I have worried, overworked, overwhelmed mm -hmm. parents, guardians, um, mm -hmm. and anybody who's ever loved or seen a child mm -hmm. understand what ADHD is mm -hmm. so that they can help that child become a star in mm -hmm. the classroom and in life. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Andrea. Dr. Andrea was with me last week in hot Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you for joining Dr. Andrea. She is an author as well. She actually has two books, but she was selling last week um, Smart Jocks, Smart Jocks, which is a book about uh, getting your children, uh, getting their education paid for when they are athletes. And she has three amazing children, two who are college grads, one who is in college now and actually pays for Pittsburgh uh, basketball. And she is a wonderful soror and a wonderful friend and a wonderful physician as well. So if you're in the Erie, Pennsylvania area, you can check out Dr. Andrea. She is an OBGYN if you should need her services. All right, we've got Miss Stacy. Hello, Miss Stacy. We hope that you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Mr. Donnell says, I cut the grass a couple of weeks ago. I have Bermuda grass and it is going into dormancy for the winter. Looking forward to cutting it next season with my new improved mower. Oh my goodness. Early Christmas, it seems for Mr. Donnell. Well, I tell you that Bermuda grass is really thick and pretty, I believe. See, I don't know anything about outside. Mm -mm. I don't want any parts of any grass or cutting it, walking on it, any of that. Uh, and Dr. Andre says, happy Thanksgiving. So I just want to know, what is everybody thankful for? While you all are getting your fingers all ready to type and to tell us what you're thankful for, I'll start with mm -hmm. something that I say all the time, and that is that I am thankful for you all. Uh, you all know we have been doing this since about May of last year. Uh, and I think that I'm pretty sure that in 10, um, that in doing this almost two years, well, no, well, like a year and a half, um, I've probably missed only 10 weeks of not being here. And that is because I know that you all are going to be here waiting. Um, and for you, the ones of you that um, do not get to see these live, I know that you're watching them later. And so I appreciate that. I really appreciate you all showing up to be here for me. Uh, I appreciate you all for telling your friends. Um, you know, one of my biggest supporters I've never met and I do not know her and somebody that I didn't even know was paying me any attention told her, this is who you need mm -hmm. to talk to for your child. And she has been at every event uh, that I've ever hosted and Everything that I even consider doing, she's right there and is the first one to purchase. So um, I really want to let you all know that you are invaluable to me as friends, as followers, as um, fellow co-parents. Uh, we are all in this game of parenting together. And uh, being here with you all helps me to bring out the best part of myself as a mom and also helps me to get through this thing called life and especially the mommy life, the parenting life. It gets kind of tricky. Um, let's see what else we have. Miss Chiquita says, I'm thankful for a second chance at life. Absolutely. Um, and sometimes it takes us having things to happen to us such that we can understand that, wow, I could have been gone. My being here is really a blessing. And um, so we are glad, too, that you have a 
second chance at life. She says, I almost died back in September due to COVID. So absolutely, COVID is still real, y'all. It is still very much real. And that's why I say I'm very careful the circles that I move in and the places that I go now. That doesn't mean most of my friends are healthcare workers, right? So that we get exposed all the time. Uh, but we've all been vaccinated. So I still encourage you all, if you have not been vaccinated, and I think now everyone is eligible for the third um, installation of the vaccine. Some people call it a booster. So if you're eligible for that, go ahead and make sure, please make sure you get it. Um, because I just really don't want to hear about anybody dying or being sick uh, from COVID. But we're so glad for you, Ms. Shaquita, that you did get that second chance because so many people did not. And so we're grateful that you get to be here with us and to tell us that testimony. That's wonderful. Mr. Donnell says, I just got back from Alpharetta, Georgia. I didn't know you were at, at an event over there. Yes, I was at an event. Um, the Deltas, we had our national convention. And so um, five other, well, it's a group of eight of us. Six were in attendance. Dr. Andrea was one along with me and uh, four others. And we were all selling our books. We are all uniquely um independent, but we all have books to sell. And so we teamed up and um, we had a great time. We had a great time, made a little bit of money, spread some good news. It was a fun, fun time. Stacey says, thankful for God and my salvation, my family, Dr. Brandy and my work family. Oh, look at there. That's Stacey, y'all. If you, um, if you uh, depend upon where you may see me as a patient, Dr. Stacy is either in the background or the voice and or face that you hear or the person that sent you a message. Um, and I always remind people, be nice to my nurses because my nurses really do make the thing go. I, just like any other doctor, I'm up front. I see you and 20 seconds later, I'm on to the next person. And so it's the nurse that reminds me, hey, you got to do this. You got to look at this. Did you sign that? Did you email that? Did, did you hear from them? Did you call them? Which they know not to tell me a whole lot because I'm not calling anybody um, just because I've got to be face to face with folks. Um, so really be nice no matter who your doctor is and where they are. Make sure that you're super nice to the nurses and you're super nice to the secretaries because those are the movers and the shakers in your office. Your doctor is with you for 15, 20 minutes, 60 minutes at best. But your nurse is the one that makes things happen. Very good. And I'm truly thankful for Miss Stacy, Miss Dia, Miss Teresa, um, Miss uh, Miss Charity, um, and all. I think that's all my nurses. Nope, there's one more. Uh, Miss Bridget, and then all of my my secretaries at all of the various places. I hope I leave everybody else out. If I did, I'm gonna have to double your Christmas gift. All right, uh, Miss Irma says she got her booster in October. Awesome, awesome. Sam Robinson, belated happy birthday! Thank you for joining us. She says I'm thankful that my plans for my life didn't work out. Well, now look at that, y'all. She says God plans have been much better. And they usually are. We just can't see it at the time. She says, I could not see it back then. There you go. But all things have worked together. Hey, Brandy B. Hello, girl. We're so glad you're here. And we're actually glad that not only did God's plans work out, but we're glad that you can accept that yours didn't and his were better in the long run. We're so glad that you're here with us today. Miss Dia, there she is. She says, I'm thankful for you. Oh, look at you. I'm so thankful for a loving God, family, and for good health. And y'all... If you've never um, been sick, sometimes we forget just how precious good health is. Um, so make sure that you do whatever you can to protect your good health, right? Um, a lot of people take the new year as a time to start a new diet, but I want to encourage you to start that new diet Monday. Whatever it is that you're waiting till January to do, don't do it. By uh, they say it takes about 21 days for a good habit to form. If you start Monday, I won't say today, I won't say tomorrow, but if you start Monday or even the next Monday, you will already be in 21 days. And by the time January 1 comes, you will be a pro. You won't be trying to figure it out. You will have mastered that thing. You may need to lose 20 pounds. You may need to stop smoking. You may need to stop doing, 
you know, some other drug or drink alcohol. Um, and so you go, need to go ahead and start getting your mind right now. So we are thankful for this good health. One of the girls that, um, one of the ladies that has a book, Dr. Kelly, has a medical journal, which is absolutely fantastic. And it allows you to chronicle all of your medical health, your surgeries, your hospitalizations, medications, allergies, and all of that. And one young lady walked by and she was obese. And she said, I don't have any medical problems, so I don't need that. And when she walked off, Dr. Kelly and I both looked at each other as if to say, you either have medical problems that you're ignoring and you aren't aware of. So not being aware of it doesn't mean you don't have it. Or the answer, the end of that statement is yet. You don't have any medical problems yet because, and I don't know a thing about her and I can admit that, but being a physician and knowing what I know and looking at her height and her weight, there was a strong likelihood and she was black. There was a strong likelihood that that was not going to end in a way that she would probably want it to. So go ahead, and if you have good health now, just start walking 30 minutes a day. We all have these fancy watches now that track our steps and everything. Shoot for 10,000 steps a day, even if you have to stand up and just march in place, mark in place. Um, just do something to get active and protect this good health. Thank you so much for commenting, Miss Dia. Miss Angel says, hey, hello, hello, hello. Nicole says, I'm thankful for mental clarity. Ain't that the truth? My physical health and God's most precious gift, my gift, my two babies. I'm responsible for two whole humans. Yes, she is. One of them is my godson, and I'm so grateful for him. Um, and again, that's what we're all about over here, being mothers, being good people, right? I am, I just try to be a good person. Um, I can't be a perfect person, but I sure do try my best to be a good person. And I'll just share this with y'all because y'all know I give all kind of unsolicited, unwarranted, unpaid for advice. Okay, but I'm just going to tell y'all today, some of you all, and this is a message, some of y'all are carrying weight. Remember I said the girl that passed by Booth that said she didn't need Dr. Kelly's book? Um, and I looked at her weight. And her weight, I thought, my God, uh, she's going to need this book soon. We hope not, but there's a high likelihood that she will. But some of y'all are quite physically fit, but you're carrying a lot of weight. Mm. I would encourage you to not take that weight into 2022. If somebody has hurt your feelings, let it go. And when I say let it go, I don't mean just to yourself. I'm saying tell them, you hurt my feelings. Um, we don't have to rehash what you did to hurt my, my feelings because you know. But I'm okay with it now. And I've forgiven you. Right. And so it may not be a smart thing to hang out with them on a regular basis, but the weight of that is just going to make you feel better. And so you really want to take the next 21 days plus or so to figure out how can I let some of this extra weight go? Because as Dr. Nicole says, sometimes the clarity, the mental clarity is it bogs you down. You can't go on about life knowing that you're mad at somebody. Somebody said, but you don't get mad at people. I, I get mad at people. I just. I just don't let it bother me, right? I know that I need my strength, my focus, my positive energy to do positive things, like coming over here talking to y'all. Mm -hmm. So if I'm always mad at people, I, I can't necessarily say that I'll be able to turn all that anger off and come over here for you all. And so I just really choose to not choose negativity. So I'd encourage you to be, if you're a positive person, you should be thankful for that. And if you are not, you, you may want to grow towards that. There's probably something that's happened to you that's causing you to be that way. And you want to forgive that person. And you really want to try to work through that situation. If that is something you need help with, I'm not the person to do that. I don't do therapy. But certainly I can come off the top of my head with three amazing therapists uh, who can help you work through that. So just let me know. We, we can do that. Nicole says adipose tissue is an endocrine organ that produces estrogen. It feeds so many diseases. Absolutely. Absolutely. So those fat cells, um, you know, even in the fat cells, estrogen turns to testosterone. So some people say I got bad acne and I got facial hair like a man. What's wrong? You lose weight. PCOS. That's, you know, so uh, having a whole lot of fat is just not a good thing. And I mentioned that she was black and we know that that's a problem with diabetes, mm -hmm. high blood pressure. Uh, end organ failure, like your kidneys. 
So um, let's make sure we're taking care of our health. And we can always get better, even if you're thin as a rail, as people say. You can still work out. Make sure your heart is healthy. Just because your skin it is or thin or whatever it is, uh, doesn't mean that your heart can't use the exercise. So make sure it does that. Karen says, hello, cuz. Hello, hello, hello. So glad you are joining us today. Mister. we're talking about what we're thankful for. We're just having a good time here today. Mr. Donnell says, Dr. B, I'm grateful for life and good health. I'm truly th grateful for the little things. Hot showers. Hello. Clean water. Fresh linen on my bed. A wash on a dryer. A working refrigerator. Stove. Electricity. Coffee. Oh, and me, Dr. B. I'm so grateful for you. And you know what? Because you show up every week. And I told you when you came back, I missed you. I really had. Uh, you're the one man uh, that comes consistently and shows up. And so... Uh, that's not a bad thing because y'all, if y'all didn't know, he bought his wife a ticket to mommy's time out. He recognized that, oh my goodness, my wife may need this. And you know, some people's husband may say, I don't care if she needed it or not. We work equally around here. Nobody's giving me a time out. But there is such a thing as a mental load. And I don't care how much you help out. At the end of the day, it's usually the woman, doesn't have to be, that's carrying that mental load, making sure everybody's doctor's appointments are scheduled and kept and that the dad or whoever else doesn't forget to get them there. So we appreciate you, Mr. Donnell, and you're absolutely right. You don't know the power of a hot shower until you are faced with a cold one. Uh, where I stayed over the weekend in Atlanta, they like cold showers and they went to the extreme of turning off the hot water to just the shower. And I spent about 30 minutes turning that faucet just so up and down. I knew the hot water was working in the sink, in the bathroom, and in the kitchen. I could not figure it out. Um, but I wanted a hot shower after getting off the road, and I could not get it. And so I learned from them that they like cold showers, and that was the extreme they'd gone to. So absolutely hot showers. And we call these things the little things. Um, but, but if you really think about it, it's all big. Because somebody didn't have hot water. So that's a big deal to them. Um, but I absolutely get your point. Thank you so much for sharing that. Sam says you are preaching to the choir. I am the choir today. That point right there is why I caught this live today. Absolutely. You cannot carry that weight, y'all. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Talking about weight. It came back to me Wednesday. Y'all know my favorite place is Walmart. So I knew they weren't going to be open yesterday. Praise God for the Walmart people being off yesterday. Um, but Wednesday, I was in my in, in Walmart doing some shopping. And I had a whole bunch of bulky stuff, a big box of diapers, a big box of wipes. And I um, I looked down. It, uh, you know, I had some big toilet tissue. because There are five of us. So I buy big mm -hmm. bulks of toilet tissue, big bulks of paper towels. And so I had as much stuff as I could on that very bottom thing. But up in the cart part, I had uh, some storage containers, just, you know, a whole bunch of stuff, just doing some cleaning, honey, because Dr. Nicole was coming over, honey, and I had to clean up. You see what I'm saying? Because when everybody else comes, they know. But when you got somebody coming for the first time, now, Nicole, it might not look like that the next time because you family now. But for the first time, we had to really get it together. And I looked in that shopping cart. And all that stuff was on top, but there was plenty of space still below the stuff that I had just piled on. So I got space below, but stuff on the top. Space below, but stuff almost falling over out of the top. And it reminded me of something that a lady told me when I was like a fourth year med student. She said, baby, that person that you're dating you don't even like him. You need to get rid of him because he's crowding up the mailbox. She said a special delivery is coming and that person is blocking the box. Now, that's the second take home I want to tell y'all today. Get rid of the people, the places, the stuff that's crowding out your shopping cart, crowding out your mailbox, not allowing the real thing that you ought to be doing. Stop doing all that meaningless stuff that you're doing, running around with all the people that when you get sick, you can't find them. Uh, you know, running around to the job that doesn't pay you anything, uh, literally anything, when you're getting offers every day. 
for new jobs because you're scared. You're crowding out your shopping cart with and the space there, but the blessing can't get in. The real blessing can't get in because you got it crowded out. Sometimes you just may need to reorganize some stuff because if I had taken a few minutes to just simply reorganize, everything could have fit in. But in this organization, there's chaos, stuff falling over. I got to bend over to other customers bending over, helping me. I'm knocking stuff down because things were not organized. So some of us just need to get organized before the new year. And I want us to set end of year resolutions so that we are good to go by January 1. We're already up and running. So some of us just need to get organized. Some of us just need to get rid of some stuff. And you know who you are and which one of those are. Now, that's just the bonus. We done got off track. Let me get back over here and see what we got. Awana says, amen. That's a good word. I don't know, girl. I think that's going to be the word on um, letting that weight go, right? Because some of us know that we need to lose pounds. But some of us need to release stuff from our conscience. We've been mad at somebody so long, we don't even know why we're mad. I actually asked somebody, what, what, were we, what, what happened? Because it had been that long. It had been that long. So I'm thankful for friends, uh, friends like Dr. Andrea that I've met uh, in May. I'm thankful for friends like Dr. Nicole that I met, um, oh my goodness, in 1996 at Vanderbilt. I'm, a, I'm grateful for saying that I that I met when I met my husband. So I guess we've known each other since about 2009. So I'm grateful for all of y'all, right? Because you, like I said, you come here. You're the best part of Dr. Brandy B. Without you all coming here, buying books, buying tickets, showing up, telling other people, there is no me. I'm just talking to myself and I would need to get that checked out. So thank you all. Let's see. Sand says, I have forgiven them and myself for participating in the foolery. I love you and this message. And I love you too. Because yes, you do have to forgive yourself. Because sometimes, you know, they say we are our own worst critics. We beat ourselves up horribly, right? And I want you to be very clear that when you forgive people, and I'm still searching in the Bible, I don't know where it says to forget. And I often use as, as an example, I have a burn on my hand right there, all right? right there that's a burn on my hand um and it might not be the best example because i don't know, know that there was anything to necessarily forgive um but certainly it's without question i can't forget that my hand was burned because every time i look at my hand i see a scar and so we don't necessarily have to forget and we don't ever have to really trust that person with our heart with our money with our bodies with our future dreams with uh, our love, with it, whatever. Uh, but to walk around with all, with that hatred, it's just too much. Because you know what that hatred will do? It'll crowd out your shopping cart. So make sure that your shopping cart is completely clear, that your conscience is clear. If they walk in a room, greet them with a smile, but you don't have to keep sitting at the table. Girl, how you doing? All right. Okay. Girl, they call me over here. Just excuse yourself. But you don't have to be ugly, right? All right. Let's see. Uh, Nicole says that is a good man. Kudos him for buying her a ticket. Absolutely. He sure did buy her a ticket. Wanda says I'm grateful for just being able to bless others. And it is definitely a blessing to be able to bless others. Dr. Terrellin, there's Dr. Terrellin. She says, hello, Dr. Terrellin has a book as well. She says she, uh, her book is about I Kiss Clinical Medicine. Goodbye. Um, and sometimes, listen, y'all, we got all kind of messages. Sometimes the thing that you're doing is not the thing that you need to keep doing. Somebody said, but I spent all this money on med school, on nursing school, on being his wife, on being uh, her husband, on, uh, you know, giving my money to my adult kids. We talked about this two weeks ago. Uh, my adult kids who won't do right. They sucking the life out of me and they draining my bank account dry. You don't have to keep doing what you're doing. Right. You got to do what's best for you. You've got to do what's best for you. Nicole is laughing at me because uh, I cleaned up like that, girl. You might see some dust bunnies next time. I'm just letting you know you family now for real, for real. Uh, Kina is right up under you raising her hands. Kina knows, honey, she coming to this office where I am some days and she just shake her head and step on over and come do what she needs to do. And going about her business, and that's what's supposed to happen. That's what real friends do. All right, Sam says, don't make me throw this phone. I'm supposed to be headed out of the door, and I have sat down for all of this declutter. Declutter. Y Listen, some of y'all think just declutter. You know what? You know what? Let me tell you something. Sometimes 
we have to get somebody else to help us declutter. Now, when I got back from Atlanta, my husband called me and he said, now for the people that know me, I've lost about 50 pounds since last May. I started out strong, lost the first half, stopped for an entire year, and Labor Day weekend started again. And I've lost about 50 pounds. So my husband called me when I was in Atlanta and he said, these extra larges, are they too big? Well, I knew he was up to something because he's in my class talking about extra larges. And he knows that extra larges are too big for me, like too big for me right now. So I said, yeah. He said, okay, that's it. Well, I knew he was up to something. Well, when I got home, tubs greeted me at the top of the stairs. And there are one, two, three, four. There are probably six tubs of clothes, which I later found out were clothes when I went into my closet and it was empty. So let me tell you something about decluttering. Um, everything that's bigger than an eight was gone. It was gone, y'all. And I have a lot of clothes. They were gone. Okay. He had decluttered it. Now, to somebody else, that's not going to be cluttered because they're good clothes, filled with tags and all kind of stuff. Y'all can follow me at Brent, Dr. Brandy's, uh, Brandy, no, Bowling's Closet. Hashtag Bowling Closet. Hashtag Bowling's Basement. Okay. Let me tell y'all about decluttering. Sometimes you got to get somebody else to help you. I have been trying to clean out my closet um, for a long time, but I don't have time. I'm always working. I'm always mothering. I'm always doing something, going somewhere. But when I got somebody else to help me, that thing is done in a weekend. He told me he just took Sunday. The baby slept for six hours and the boys, you know, they entertained themselves pretty much. And he cleaned my closet. So that that's a message right there, too. Y'all need to go ahead and in this year, 2021, go ahead and get some therapists to help you declutter and unpack because you cannot do it on your own. You don't have time. You don't even know how. If it had been up to me to take those clothes out of that closet, first of all, I still would have been trying to do it alone. And I would have been looking at stuff talking about, oh, but I wore that to the baby shower. Honey, you ain't having no more babies. Oh, but this was on our first. Nope. Oh. You see what I'm saying? You got to get somebody to help you declutter and help you get organized. Uh, and even though my husband is not the best at organization in his mind, in actuality, in a physical space, he's super organized, right? I have mass chaos and I know where everything is, where I put it, and I know if it's been moved. Um, but we may have to get somebody to help us. So that's the third message, okay? That's another one for you saying. So number one, let that weight go. I didn't even have these prepared. People say, girl, you don't go over there without something prepared every week, y'all. Mostly I don't. Number one, and I know that y'all are like, this ain't going to do ADHD, but y'all keep coming back and y'all stay in. Number one, get the weight off. Say, I'm sorry, or say, I accept your apology. Because sometimes people apologize to us and we say, okay, and we don't mean it. But say, I have forgiven you, all right? I'm not mad, right? Number two is... uh. Uh, shoot, unpack, right? Declutter, organize, L make room for something that may be small. And I'll tell you this, make sure you don't miss out on your gift looking at the wrapping. You can always change that wrapping paper. You get a whole new box, bigger box, smaller box, get some new clothes, redo. But don't miss out on your gift looking at the wrapping paper. That's number two. Get out the big stuff, the junk. Make room for the for the 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 package that matters. And then number three is to get some help with your organization and your decluttering. And that's where ADHD can come in because you know they are highly disorganized. All right, let's see what else we got. Um, Doctor Terrell says I needed this whole word. Yes, Doctor Terrell. Yes, 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 yes. Nicole is agreeing with saying Nicole is probably over there reading some images right now, shouting in the dark room. Mr. Donnell says, Dr. B, I literally just had this conversation with my wife yesterday. Take the stress off yourself. For example, trying to cook a giant dinner for the holidays. Just keep it simple. Buy the trimmings that you and your family need. It's okay to buy already made food. Also, Christmas, get the kids are getting only three gifts this year. Teaching them to be grateful for what they have. Absolutely. Some people adopt a something they need, something they want, and something to read. That's it. Can you imagine how life would be, just how grand life would be, if every year 
you got three gifts, something you need, something you want, and something to read. And I know I'm guilty. At my house, it looks like a, a toy store vomited times three and just drop all of everything, it all, one of everything into our den. That's what my house looks like. And you know what? Those kids end up playing with a box, spinning around with it, drawing some wheels on it, talking about they got a car. You know, so we really have to make sure that we value each other, value our health, value our space and our shopping cart. Because here's the deal, y'all. There's only 24 hours in a day. And if you crowd out that 24 hours with negativity, you know, I really like working with my nurses. And I'm going to tell you why. Not only are they smart and some good looking ladies, uh, and they love me, y'all. And I love them. You ever start talking about my nurses, you probably going to get fired. I'm just letting you know that right now. Um, because we protect each other. They really protect me and allow me to do what I do. But you know what I really like about them? My mama will say, well, how many patients did you see today? And I tell her the same thing, all of them, because I don't know. I don't know how many I see. But whenever we get into a situation, they really are non-complaining type of girls. We just get in there and we get it done. And somebody, a patient, I think, said to me one day this week, you never complain. You may be running late, and I usually am running late. Uh, and that is because if you saw my schedule and you understood the amount of time that I have to see each person, um, I would not be the physician that I am if I saw people in that amount of time. I don't practice like that. And I invite people to leave if they don't like that. If you need somebody who you know is going to be on time, I'm probably not that girl. Or you need to go somewhere where people can give you extended care um, and they don't schedule anybody else, but that comes at a higher price, okay? But we just get in there and we get it done. Um, if I need to help them, I help them. If they need to help me, we. but we are not like we got all this stuff to do. And I mean, because here's my thought. If you spend 15 minutes complaining about a job that you still have to do, you just got to stay longer 15 mm -hmm. minutes because you still got to get it done. Let's just get it done. Let's just get it done. And then we can go shopping. I mean, you know playing um that mr Donnell says i appreciate you and you know i appreciate you thank you very much Taylor says foes uh does your husband have a clone girl if i find him i'm gonna let you know honey but now i want nobody to get the impression that he's perfect because remember i said i wasn't so the only way somebody would marry somebody who's not perfect is that they aren't but we certainly are able to work through our imperfections uh, and, and there are many more things that are right than they are that are wrong, but I'm truly grateful for him. And so, you know, I'll just take this opportunity to thank you all for my, that y'all know I acknowledge my husband because, um, he is the one that makes things happen. And when I say he allows me to be here, I don't mean that he, I have to get his permission, but y'all know some people catch hell at their house. Y'all know people like that. Hopefully you are not the one giving anybody hell, but y'all know some people that catch hell at their own house. Cause they do what they love to do, but I support him and his football and whatever it is that he wants to do. And he supports me in just about whatever I can come up with. So um, it, it works back and forth. Sam says, come on again. I am in the choir. I did it, Brandy, and it changed my life. I had taken myself as far as I could. So I found somebody to help me declutter my heart. Yep. That part. Mama says she is here. Hello, mama. So that's it that I have, y'all. Hopefully y'all enjoy those impromptu words. Um, you know, I'm just out here living life, uh, being a mama, being a wife, being a daughter, being a niece. And y'all know it's just hard. Sometimes it gets hard and sometimes we need each other. And that's why y'all come to Focus on it Friday um, so that we can get the support we need to just go one more day. Shout out to all the people that are here that are my friends. I consider you all my friends now. Um, y'all really, again, you make this thing called Dr. Brandy B. We did not talk after, um, I don't think we spoke after, um, mommy's time out, but shout out to the people that came to mommy's time out. If you came to mommy's time out, let me just see you write me in the chat, me, just write me or just say my wife, but just say me y'all. We had an amazing time. We had an amazing time. Oh my God. Every single one of those women that stepped on that, on that stage, they delivered, they delivered. Um, and you know, sometimes the first step to decluttering, the first step to, um, uh, you know, emptying out your box, getting some help, um, letting go of the pain, letting go of whatever, starting anew, 
is to be in silence and get some time to yourself, to get some time to yourself. And I have heard people say, I don't like being silent because I have to be with my thoughts. Um, if you cannot stand to be with your thoughts, then you definitely need a time out. Y'all, we had such a good time. We had such a good time. We were there all day. Somebody said, well, we can't start that early in the morning no more. And somebody else said, well, we want them to talk longer. If they talk any longer and we start later, we'll be there all night. We'll have to make it a two-day event. So we might do that, not this next time, but the next. But I am getting ready for the spring mommy's time out. You don't want to miss it again. I'm going to have Dr. Nicole Cole to come back. I didn't tell her about it yesterday when she was at my house. Nope, she just heard about it for the first time uh, like you did. So if she will come back, Dr. Nicole Cole dropped a nugget about American Express that we did not know. She travels all the time. She and her lovely husband and those beautiful children. Um, and she brought us some, some information that was outstanding. So I think we want to do that again because I want us to make sure that we're traveling. And remember, you don't even have to leave your house to have a vacation. If you have a room that's not visited or just take that room and decorate it and do something with it, um, that would be fabulous. But we do have the Black Friday special, Mommy's Time Out, spring slash summer. I do not have a date. Go ahead and register uh, for $47. Go ahead and register for $47. That's mtos2022.me. And the S is for spring slash summer. mtos2022.me. Uh, you know, all my stuff ends in dot me. Uh, go ahead and sign up. And please check your email if you registered for Mommy's Time Out because there's a very important email about an event coming up Monday. For those of you that registered and came, you are going to be talking to me on Monday in our private group, and we're going to be having a lot of fun. So if you do not have an email already, send me a message uh, so that I can get that over to you. If you register for Mommy's Time Out, the one that we just did November 13th, let me know. The other thing that I have for you all is for that person who says, I don't want you to be late and I want to call you and I want to talk directly to you because your nurses are fabulous. They're beautiful. They're wonderful. They're extremely smart. And whatever they tell me, I know is accurate, but I want to talk to you all the time. That's fine. I would love to have that type of relationship with you and your child. Go ahead over to um, shineadhdconcierge.me. That's shineadhdconcierge.me. You can learn inf uh, more information about how you can get me on a more personal, individualized uh, basis. Patients always tell me, I feel like it's just me and you and you don't have any other patients. Um well, the truth of the matter is that I do, but I appreciate those words because that's what I want everybody to feel like. And I work very hard to do. Um, but if you join my concierge practice, then uh, you'll kind of have me a little bit to yourself. Um, so sign up for that. If you're interested, sign up for MTO, Mommy's Time Out for the spring slash summer 2022. Uh, like I said, the date has not been released. I need to make sure all my lineup can come and we're going to add something new. So the surveys went out today. Um, make sure you answer the surveys. There's a question about what, do you, what else do you want to see? Maybe you don't want to hear from me. Um, and so I will speak less next time and allow for someone else to come. But we had a great time and, and the, the reviews are absolutely amazing. A um, lot, a lot, a lot of energy. But anyway, I am going to get out of here on this Black Friday. I hope you all are having some good sales. And remember, when you're shopping, don't get anything in your basket that you don't need. That's just going to clutter it up, cluttering up your basket, cluttering up your home, cluttering up your life, cluttering up your mind. Make sure that you're listening to happy songs, good songs. Make sure that the people that you are around. And I swear, y'all, it doesn't take, you know, they say, um, you know, you are the company that you keep, right? So make sure you're keeping good company, good positive company, because certainly that can impact your mood. Um, it can impact your energy. People speak about in energy and that stuff is real. So make sure that you're doing that. Let me go ahead and put it in the chat, www.mommiestimeoutspring2022.me for mommy's time out. Spring, and I'm not sure if it's going to be in the spring or the summer 2022. And the other one, any other questions? Anybody have any questions that they 
need to ask me any other comments before we get out of here and enjoy the day. Oh, man. Why did it not go? Okay. Any other questions? Well, as usual, I have enjoyed uh, having you all. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I can switch it up at the beginning of the year. Do something a little bit different. So just watch out for that. I don't know what it's going to be. But maybe I need to get Dr. Terrellyn to help me how to switch it up a little bit since she's good at helping people make changes. Although, don't call her for that just yet. She is changing it up herself a little bit. And that's okay. Nobody likes changing but a baby. But changing is definitely good. Change is good. Um, Shine. Hey, do y'all still need my book? Go ahead. Um, Hello, Auntie Eva. Thank you for joining my beautiful Auntie Eva in Pennsylvania. Shine ADHD concierge dot me for concierge services. All right. Mr. Donnell says, Dr. B, I will send you a pic of my grass when it was in glory. Please send me a picture of this grass. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited to see this grass. Y'all, he works on the grass every third to seventh day. So I'm excited about this. He loves being in the grass. I love being in the mall. Um, so, yes. And Walmart. Walmart was my substitution during um, the pandemic. Of course, the mall was closed initially. All right, y'all, I'm going to get out of here. I'm Dr. Brandy B, triple board certified child and adolescent psychiatrist through my Facebook uh, live stream. Focus on it Friday, which airs every Friday at Dr. Brandy B's Central Standard Time at noon um, through my Facebook live, through my events, Mommy Time Out. Uh, I have worried, overworked moms, stressed out dads, frustrated at their wits end. Uh, parents, guardians, teachers get the education that they need. So that they can help the teachers and loved ones. Um, I'm sorry, so that they can help the students, their babies, be successful in the classroom and in life. If you've ordered a book recently, I am doing for fulfillment today. If you need to order a book, that is shineadhdbook.shop. It will be autographed and to you. It is also available at Walmart, Target, Amazon, and wherever you buy books. Of course, that will come directly from them. And uh, I will not touch it, so it will not have an autograph. But if you are in the area, then I will certainly have no problem uh, signing your book for you. Dr. B uh, says, Mr. Daniel, did you know that Walmart was closed for Thanksgiving this year? They're usually open on Thanksgiving, aren't they? And I said that, yes, I'm so glad that my friends at Walmart were able to have a break and a day off. I was so excited about that um, because I think that shopping on Thanksgiving night is just absolutely silly. So I was glad that they were off and they were glad too. They all knew that they were going to make up for it today, but they were at least glad to have that day. Mom says, good information. LaShawn says, we have to go back to listen to today's message. Absolutely. There were some messages in there, cuz. So go back and pick them up. Hello, and we love you and the family. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Y'all make sure you buy something for me. I like shiny stuff too. I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm just kidding. All right, y'all. I love you. I'm going to get out of here. If you need me for anything, give me a call. Tan says, hello. She says, I'm something. Are you shopping? Y'all know Tan. Tan is my cousin. Tan says, sales. She says, I'll be watching the replay. Go ahead, Tan, and drop your link for your book. Uh, well, not your book. For your jewelry. She sells paparazzi. And y'all know she keeps me fabulous about my neck and my ears. Also, um, I will put the... Um, if you have a business, drop your business here. All right, your Black Friday specials, if you have any, or just your business. Um, Dr. Terrellyn and Dr. Andrea and I are in a, we have a book bundle with all of our books. And I will drop that link in here so you all can go and get that as well. But whatever you're doing, make sure you're being kind to someone. Make sure you're smiling at one and make sure that you continue to shine. See y'all later. Bye. Oh, Kina says, thanks so much. You always bring us so much great info. Enjoy your weekend and get some rest. Yes, ma'am. You too. Bye.